Hey, I'm Jason from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called The Fish's Tale. Now, this game comes from Zed Technician, the same creator as The Man from the Window 1 and 2, The Verlander Curse, Beware the Shadow Catcher, and all those types of games. Zed Technician's games share two very similar themes. One, are the characters are very thicky icky, and two, somebody is coming for your cheeks in a certain amount of time. We are going to figure out what The Fish's Tale is all about right now. If it gets cool with that, down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. I'm telling you right now, the characters are going to be stupid things. If they're not, then I'm stupid. Look at that. Stupid thing. Come on now. Oh, hi. Are you Angela? That's me. Oh, good. Thanks for coming. Especially on such short notice as well. So, I should probably tell you exactly why you're here before we get started. My involvement in this whole situation began after my father's untimely passing. In his will, he left three things to me. The first thing was his house. It may not look like much, but it's been in our family for generations. The second thing was the $20 he had in his bank account. A wealthy man he was not, though his kindness more than made up for his lack of wealth. If somebody left me 20 bucks, I don't know. I feel like I would get a couple happy meals and then I would just be sad again. And the third thing. What the hell is that? That's a huge bitch. Was his responsibility of keeping the fish asleep. And that's the part I'm going to need help with. So, what do you need me to do? Well, my father had the foresight to leave a set of instructions for me to follow. Apparently, I'm supposed to perform an annual sealing ritual, and if I don't, the fish will reawaken. During his time here, father was able to enact the ritual entirely by himself. And I hate to admit this because of how embarrassing it is. But it seems the gift must have skipped a generation because I'm nowhere near as adept in magic as he was. I've tried it over and over again, but I can't seem to do this on my own. And that's why I've hired you tonight, my friend. Okay? The ritual involves the summoning and gathering of five mystical chains. <laughs> Angela's response was kind of just like, what did I just sign up for? She's like, okay? By splitting the workload evenly, we should be able to complete the ritual and succeed where I failed. I'll perform the spells to summon the chains, and then you go to collect them. Sure, no problem. I can do that. I've already transcribed the necessary information onto my laptop. There are five spell crafting recipes in total, and also a list of correct order in which to make them. Allow me to open the correct file, and then we can begin. Okay, so it's going to be another time thing. All right, so let's check this out. Let's do binding page. The binding seal. Fool's gold, one silver tongue, one cursed ashes, one broken bone. The dauntless seal. Two watchful eyes, one diabolic dust, two broken bones, one mournful miasma, one <laughs> bleeding heart, one cursed ashes. What is that? What is a mournful miasma? I don't know what that means, but she got that miasma. All right, let me stop. Forsaken. One cursed ashes, three broken bones. Oh, is this what I... You know what? I think it's all the same thing. I get the gist. There we go. And I already have all the necessary components at hand. So there's no need to concern yourself with that part. Thank goodness. Because that's a lot of different things. Like, morning full miasma? Where am I getting that? Most people nowadays use a fancy blender or something to mix their spellcrafting recipes together. But not me, no. I've always preferred the more traditional route of using a mortar and pestle. Great, yeah, totally not wanting the convenience of a blender or anything like that. I can't wait to use this thing! You put the correct ingredients into the bowl, and then grind it all together using the pestle that's right next to it. Yeah, I'm on my grind, bro. It's all quite easy, is it? It doesn't look easy at all. I'll need to add the correct ingredients into the mortar. Okay, so the hearkening seal. We need diabolical dust, cursed ashes, bleeding heart, and a mournful miasma. She got that miasma. Okay, so let's put it in. Okay, I get it. I need to use that old stone bowl or whatever. So let's get that miasma. Put that in there. Okay, and then we need some diabolical nut dust, which should be somewhere around here. I like how Angela's still like, what am I doing here? <laughs> Diabolical death. What else? I need some cursed ashes. Okay, hopefully these aren't my father's ashes. All right, let's put that there. And then what else do we need? Bleeding hearts. 
Who has a bleeding heart? Por favor. Bleeding heart, bleeding heart, bleeding heart. There you go. I will take that. I'm not even going to begin to ask how she got all these things. Let's just pretend everything here is all legal, especially the bleeding heart, because that looked like somebody's actual heart. So let me mix this all together, and let's pound that. Let's take that to Pound Town. There. That should do it. The mixture is complete. Now all I have to do is pour the contents into the cauldron. What? What cauldron? Okay, okay. I know putting a metal drum over a bonfire doesn't exactly qualify as a cauldron. But when you can't afford a real one, sometimes you have to improvise a little bit. If it works, it works. Precisely. Okay, so let's put this magical bowl. Oh, there. That should do it. The mixture is complete. Now all I have to do is pour the... Oh! Okay. Um, I know that. Let's go. Get the bowl. And... And... Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm not even gonna say anything, alright? Let's just put the cauldron into the- I said that wrong. Let's just put the bowl- you know, fuck it. Look, the green hue means that I did everything correctly, I think. You mean you're not sure? Nope. But here's the part where you come in. Now that the first chain has been summoned, it should have materialized somewhere nearby. I need you to go find it and bring it back here. So where is it? I don't know. I've never gotten this far before. But Father used to always tell me, And from the mist of the cauldron, thy path shall be revealed. So why not try looking into the cauldron and we'll see what happens. So are you just using her as a guinea pig? Are you serious? Okay, let me look inside. You faintly hear a voice emitting from the mist. It's free real estate. Poplar Doctor Morris Lane. Poplar Doctor Morris Lane. Oh, okay. Poplar Drive. And then more ass lane. And then I'm going to find it eventually, right? Okay, okay. What is that? Hold on. Oh, that's my car, I believe? That's something. I see like an eye in the distance. Whoa! Oh, shit. That big ass moon scared me. Okay, so I guess I just have to go inside this house? This is interesting. What's happening here? Whoa. Yeah, Angela has a dump truck. Oh, there you are. Were you able to find the chain? Got it. Yep. Oh, good. I knew I could count on you. Just leave it on the ground near the cauldron for now, okay? In the meanwhile, I'll go ahead and summon the next one. Sure, no problem. Okay, so we just have to keep doing these little spells. So how do I know what the next one is? So the binding seal is next. Okay, fool's gold, silver tongue, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fool's gold is right over here. I like these games because they're interesting, but I think that there's probably going to be a threat in this game, right? Because that would make this game a little bit more interesting. Silver tongue... Let me see that silver tongue bastard. There you go. Put that in there. I'm sorry, everybody. Cursed ashes. We always got to put the cursed ashes, huh? I think we're trying to hide some evidence. Maybe we did kill some people. Some broken bones. Bam. All right. Now let's beat that up. There we go. In spite of the initial complications, this is going pretty well, I'd say. But we do need to hurry. I must tell you, there's a reason why keeping the fish asleep is so vital. There are things inside of it. Things? Parasites. Nasty little things, really. As the fish begins to wake up, they come out in search of food. Oh, speak of the devil. Where? Let me see. I want to see that nasty little thing. Aw, oh, man, I've seen nastier and I've seen littler. Tread carefully while you're out collecting the next chain, my friend. Having just exited its host, the parasite should leave you alone for the moment. But I cannot guarantee what will happen as they begin to grow hungry. Well, thank you for telling me that after the fact! Okay, where do we go? You faintly hear a voice emitting from the mist. Mavis Road. Walker Road. Mavis Road, Walker Road. Wait. What? Oh! There's a freaking back door? Oh, shit. Okay, Mavis Road, and then... What was it? Walker Road. 
Yeah. There we go. Where's that hungry bitch, though? Where you at? You trying to eat some ass? Hold on. Oh! There you are. What are you doing? <laughs> hungry? Huh? What are you hungry for? You better be a vegetarian. You better be a herbivore! You ain't getting this meat, bitch! What are you doing? Stop. Relax. Why are you stalking me? This dude really wants some meat. He really wants some cheeks. He wanted double cheeks with a side of fries. Okay, we broke that chain. So we have to do all the spells in order to beat this game. I bet you there's gonna be a lot of parasites coming after me like once I get into like five rituals. I got the next one for you. Thank you, my friend. That's two chains down now. <laughs> two chains. <laughs> That's two chains down now, and only three more to go. Allow me a moment while I summon the third chain, please. This game is interesting. I like it. I wish the threats were a little bit more nasty. Because they said that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought that was somebody. I really thought that was somebody's son. So the echoing seal is next. Okay, cursed ashes. Hold on. Cursed ashes right over here. And then the next one is morningful miasma. And then Spiteful Fang. Who comes up with these names? These names are very interesting. Spiteful Fangs. There you go. No problem. And then we have Diabolical Nut Dust. Diabolical Nut Dust. There you go. Sprinkle it on there. And then Fool's Gold. Because you owe some fools. And then let's do uh, Idle Hands. Okay, Idle Hands. Let me see those hands. They better be idle. They, they better not be Jazz Hands. Okay, pound that shit. That looked like praying hands. Like that? Those diabolical hands did not look that diabolical. But here we go. Let's put that in there. And I don't even know what I'm talking about, everybody. I'm talking the most. But I'm also doing work right now. What? Did I just mess up? You okay? <coughs> yeah. I'm fine. I must have botched the recipe somehow. Oh man, now I'm sad. Don't let one little slip up get to you. Come on, I'll help you up. Did we mess that up or is this part of the lore? I think that I fucked it up. My bad, everybody. That's on me for some reason. What? Oh, two idle hands. The third chain has now been summoned. Now it's your turn again, my friend. Okay, then I'll be right back. Wait, before you go, I have something that I wish to give you. A gun, please. Loaded. Locked and loaded. What is that? Jewelry unless you want me to pawn it or something. I don't really need it. No, no, no my friend. This is no mere jewelry This is a protective amulet. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? My father used to craft these in his spare time Should anything try and harm you simply point the amulet towards the assailant and utilize the space within your mind It will take care of the rest. You must utilize it sparingly however for it runs out of energy You'll need to recharge it by the fire there's also a small tab on the back that can be used to remind yourself of the path you must take. But only once per trip. Keep these things in mind. Can I say Kamehameha when I blast it? Yes? No? Maybe? So? Okay. Let's do this. You finally hear a voice emitting from the mist. Mavis Road. Robins Road. Song Creek Way. Okay, that's what I say. So let's do this, everybody. So we can only Kamehameha once per trip? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Because I'm out here. So, Robins. There we go. Basking in Robins Road. So far, so good. I don't see any hungry beasts. Stay back. I have it. I have the amulet. Don't you freaking double doggy style dare. Or I will zap you back into that fish's guts. Come over here then. Come over here. Yeah. That's what I freaking thought. It's Song Creek. Shut up. Oh, I was about to blast you. I was going to talk shit as I blasted you. I was gonna say you to the shadow run buster. Come on. Yeah, that's what I freaking thought You don't want these problems Don't stop Bitch. Yeah, get out of here nasty He didn't really want that. He's not like that, but I'm like that. Give me those chains three chains I trust that you've located the third charm. Did I just say charm? Yep. Good We're halfway through this ritual now. Thank you once more for your help my friend I could not have made it this far without your assistance. Hold tight for a moment, and I'll prepare the next mixture for the next chain. I don't think that Angela did this for free. I think she wants you to slide that $20 your dad left you, but I'm just, I'm just saying. What's Lost Page? 
Twas a dark and stormy morn, when thy scourge did wash ashore. The terror from its mouth did plunge our lands into famine once more. Repose was not found, not by gods and not by lords, till a young lad did quell the beast by his magic curse, did stop the hordes. Wow. I didn't know her dad was a British poet. I love it. So the next one is The Dauntless Seal. Two watchful eyes. You know what? Let me just do it as we go. Oh, you son of a bitch! What? What's up? You want some of this? Get that ass over here! Ah! <laughs> I thought it was going to be one of those situations where, um... The thing, like, is not there as soon as you turn the corner. But man, that monster ran away with all that ass! Okay, two watchful eyes. I already had some watchful eyes looking at me. So two watchful eyes. Alright, one, two. There you go. What's next? Two broken bones. Boom, bop. There we go. One mournful miasma. And then the next one is one bleeding heart. Why does it have to be bleeding, though? Like, why? Another one is Cursed Ashes. Okay. Put that cursed shit in there. Next one is Diabolical Nut Dust. Sprinkle that on top. Boom, bop, pow. And here we go. I like stuff where you have to remember things. Because it makes me feel really good when I do. Is it ready? Yes, indeed it is. Okay, then. Be back in a flash. Stay vigilant. What if I don't? What are you going to do about it? Let's see where we have to go. Poplar Drive. John Saw Road. Northview Road. Millwood Street. Millwood? Man, I cannot speak English, dude. Okay. John Saw Road. What did John saw? I want to know what he saw. Because I've been seeing some shit. Hey, stop. Yeah, get out of here. You freaking nasty. Wait. Hold on. John Saw Road? Wait. Did I go here? I think I keep following John Saw Road. I see it. It's over yonder. Yeah, there you go. It's right there. Okay. Oh, you bitch! Ah! The fuck! Okay, dude was on my ass. Uh, Garner? Where the fuck do I go? Right here? Don't you freaking dare. What? Oh, shit. Oh, shitty on me freaking titties. Okay. Hold on. Don't. Guys. Girls, guys, guys, girls. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Okay. I'm sorry, everybody. I get real passionate when I'm being stalked. Don't. 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 Stop. Come on. This way. This way. What the fuck? Okay. Where am I? Wait, what is this? Oh shit, I remember you. You out here to help that lady down the road, ain't ya? Yep. Good. She's a sweetheart, alright. I usually hear her over there casting her spells and doing her magic at all hours of the night. Most folks would probably complain about all that noise, but Rex and me don't mind it too much. I'd go over there and help her out myself, especially since the poor thing just lost her paw and all. But I ain't too reliable once the sun goes down. Well, anyways, y'all two be safe out here, you hear? Isn't this the beast that went room room in the car? I remember we were playing as somebody who was driving in the car and then this dog thing got in the driver's seat and said room room and put the pedal to the metal probably was pushing 90 and yeah, I think that you're involved in some Grand Theft Auto. A wolf wolf. Oh, now you want to switch it up? So it went from room room to a wolf wolf. You know what the that? Hold on. Let me do tab. You faintly hear a voice emitting from the amulet. Don't even come here. Poplar Drive, John Saw Road, Northview Road, Millwood Street. What? Where's North? I'm confused. Hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Monica knew all too well just how little time she had to work with before the fish awakened. During her preparation, she had written a note to remind herself of her approaching deadline. But unfortunately for her... Her short time had run already out. Oh no. That was weird. It wasn't long before a nightly rumble emitted from deep within the fish as it unceremoniously began to stir. 
As its eyes slowly began to open, it gazed upon the landscape for the first time in millennia. The fish sat, unmoving and unblinking for a moment that was all too fleeting. And then a strange beast emerged from its mouth. <laughs> another one would soon emerge, then another, and countless more would follow. It wasn't long until the entirety of the woods were filled with the strange parasitic beasts. Now being separated from their host for the first time in a long, long time, they began to feed. Within a day, the entire forest was plunged into an eternal and deafening silence as the creatures consumed everything in their path. Once their ravenous nature had rendered the immediate area devoid of life, the swarm soon began to wander off in search of more food. And that's when the disappearances began in mass. I don't think they disappeared. I think it's pretty much self-explanatory what happened to everybody. They became filet mignon to these parasites or whatever they are. They honestly look like grown ass men. But let me go back in here because I'm clearly having a hard time with directions. Poplar Drive, John Saw Road, Northview Road, Millwood Street. I got you. Poplar Drive, John Saw, Millwood, and I wish you would. No, wait, what was it? It was Fairview. And then something nasty. So John Saw Road, Northview Road, right here. Bop! Just felt like doing that, just cause, you know. There you go, Millwood. Dude, come on, relax, relax with that. I'm glad that we have a weapon in these games because what I know from Zed Technician games, you don't really have any form of protection. All you have is uh your smarts and your brain, and that's not a weapon for me. That's a weapon against me. That's an act of terror. Like if I have to use my brain. I might as well be dead. We finally made it. That actually took me a while. That took me like four minutes, actually. That's not a while. I mean, from this game standards, that's a while. Yes, yes. That's four chains collected now. There's only one more left, and then our work tonight is done, my friend. Allow me a moment to begin summoning the final chain. Chain gang! Okay. So, one more chain. Why was the door closed? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, anyway. Let's do the order page. The Forsaken Seal. Oh my lordy. Okay, the Forsaken Seal. So it's Cursed Ashes. Okay, put that curse shit in there. And then two broken bones. I hear somebody causing a ruckus outside. So two broken bones. And then Mournful Miasma. And then Idle Hand. Right there. I like how if it's one Idle Hand, it's just Idle Hand. And then... Uh, diabolical dust There you go. Everybody thought I was gonna say nut dust, huh? I was I was about to but I want to switch it up I want to keep you all guessing so two silver tongues just French kissing in the bowl One bleeding hearts be still my bleeding hearts and then two watchful eyes So they can watch me put in this freaking work All right, so did I yep? I got two eyes boom Let's do this All right, I was seeing if those parasites were here what? Let's mix that up. Sugar, spice, everything nice. Powerpuff Girls. Wait. I think that I've added the specific mixture into the cauldron already. Wait, what are you talking about? Yes, nice and hot indeed. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Didn't we just do this shit? What the fuck are you talking about? Cursed ashes. Three broken bones. One mournful miasma. One idle hand. Diabolical dust. Two silver tongues. One, two. One bleeding heart. Two watchful eyes. So, one, two. Mix it up one more time for the homie DJ Screw. And please tell me this is right. I did it right twice. There you go. And thus, the final chain has been summoned. And not a moment too soon, for I fear that the fish is growing restless. You must hurry. You can count on me. Excellent. Let me check what it is real quick. Let's all remember this, everybody. Mavis Road. Robbins Road. Garner Street. That's it? Okay. Sorry. Let's go. Mavis Road, which is right over here. Mavis Road, and then what is it? Robbins Road. Baskin and Robbins Road. See you, bitch. Don't even. What the fuck? Oh, shit. The fish is hungry. The fish is about to waken. Come on. Bop. Yep. And then what is it? It's, uh, Song Creek. Isn't it? <gasps> fuck! No, 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 no. There was, like, nowhere for me to go. Sorry, everybody. Hold on. Is it Walker or Robbins? 
Hold on. Mavis, Robbins, Garner. Yeah, where's Garner? Hold on. This is Robbins. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, everybody. I want to beat this so bad. I want to beat this so bad. So... Oh! What? I don't get it. So Robbins Road is still here. Hit that ass up. Oh. Uh. And then Betty Lane. I don't care about Betty Lane. Shit, 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 shit. Uh. So Garner. Let's freaking go. Almost there! Come on. We got this. Who wants this? Who wants these problems? Why are there so many of you horny beasts? Bop! Okay. Get that chain. Got it! Woo! I trust that you've brought forth the final chain. Yep. Well done, my friend. On to the final step. We must cast all five chains into the cauldron like so. Easy. Whoa. Cool. So that thing is just going to sleep, right? Is that it? Indeed it is. The ritual dictates that the fish will not be able to reawaken again until an entire year has passed, and that any straggling parasites will re-enter their host after some time has passed. So in other words, your work here tonight is complete. Woohoo! All right, I'll take that 20 now. Please take this. It's what I owe you for your services tonight. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. I may require your help once again in the future, so I'll definitely be keeping your number on hand, just in case I require your assistance once more. I'm always looking for odd jobs around town. Give me a call anytime. I certainly will. Hopefully our paths will cross again soon. But until then, I must bid you farewell. Have a good night, my friend. Thanks. You too. And that's the end of that game. Very interesting indeed. I like that one. I like games where you have to remember what to do. Because it kind of tests your own memory, I guess. I don't even know a better way to say it. But that is The Fish's Tale. It's definitely in line with all of Zed Technician's games that I know and love. And I really enjoyed this one too. I will leave the link to this game in the description box below if you want to try it yourself. Hopefully you enjoyed my playthrough of it though. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.